Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Since the Wright brothers made the first controlled flight of an airplane at the beginning of the 20th century, aviation has been in constant development. With the creation of new models and systems designed to improve the performance and control of an aircraft. Thus, as planes become larger, like huge cargo planes, or faster and more precise, like fighter jets, new engines and control systems, or avionics, allow these machines to exceed their limits. Aircraft engines today are powerful and fuel efficient, so they can provide significant thrust while reducing fuel consumption and noise. Modern avionics provide management of navigation and automation, increasing the overall flight efficiency and safety. This technological development can be seen in systems like the high-power ram air turbine, which was developed to provide auxiliary or emergency power in commercial or military applications. Its design consists of a small turbine installed in the aircraft, working as an alternate hydraulic or electrical source when there is a loss in the main power generation. For such cases, the RAT will power vital systems, such as flight controls or flight critical instrumentation, navigation, and communication equipment. It is commonly stored in a compartment in the fuselage or wing when the conditions are normal. When there are any issues with the plane, the system can be deployed manually or automatically when there is a complete loss of AC power. While the ram turbine is deployed, the essential instrumentation uses aircraft batteries to be powered. In some designs, like the one developed by ATGI, the RAT features an internally ducted design, optimizing the airflow through the turbine to maximize power generation while minimizing aerodynamic drag. This is controlled by a series of flaps within the turbine that opens or closes whenever it is in standby, startup, exhaust, or failsafe operation. Considering the importance of this system and the complexity of its mechanisms, inspection and maintenance work must be carried out every certain period of time. During this process, the RAT is disassembled to access all the internal components, which are carefully inspected by the technicians, looking for any type of damage. They select the pieces that require maintenance or replacement. Afterward, those components are fixed and the rotary parts are balanced. Devices like the RAT are known to provide power during emergency situations. However, they are not the only systems with the capacity to deliver additional or support power to the aircraft. This is the case of the independent power source known as the Auxiliary Power Unit, or APU. It allows an aircraft to operate autonomously without dependence on ground support equipment, such as a ground power unit. It works as a small jet engine, which is normally located in the tail cone of the aircraft, but in some cases is located in an engine nacelle or the wheel well. When running, 
The APU provides energy to aircraft systems, as well as bleed air for air conditioning and engine start. In some cases, certain airplanes do not have an auxiliary power unit. Therefore, they do not have the capacity to start their engines independently and require external aid. Some versions of the B-52 qualify within this group by requiring an explosive cartridge starter, also known as a cart start. This system uses a cartridge filled with gunpowder and inserted into the breech cap of the starter system. Inside this chamber, the cartridge is ignited, generating hot gas that travels towards the turbine rotor. Here, the gas creates rotation of the rotor and maintains the necessary pressure to start the engine. Although this technology has existed since the 1930s, its principle is still used for some current engines. In some cases, such as with the B-52, the aircraft does not include an APU, but there is also the possibility that this auxiliary unit may be damaged in some aircraft. Therefore, it should always be possible to start it with the help of a cart start. For this, the cart must have tight connections with the aircraft so the breaching mechanism can properly deliver the gas generated by the ignition. Nonetheless, modern engines are built to adapt to any starting method easily. This versatility has allowed better engines to be installed on aircraft, such as the B-52. In this case, Rolls-Royce has developed the F-130 engines, which are expected to extend the life of this aircraft by 30 years. This company manufactured and assembled the engines at Rolls-Royce facilities in Indianapolis. For the testing process, the engine was sent to the NASA Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. Such testing focused on crosswind aerodynamic flow and the performance of the engine's digital control system. F-130 engines are derived from the Rolls-Royce BR family of engines with a successful history of over 30 million flight hours of operation. The dedication of companies like Rolls-Royce in their new technology development processes has given birth to more efficient and powerful engines. For engines such as the Trent XWB, the company requires more than 20,000 parts to build. It comprises eight main modules, six of which are built on the Darby facility. The other two modules are the IP compressor, built by KHI in Japan, and the LP turbine, assembled by ITP in Spain. Such assembly starts with the fan case, which is divided into the wet side, housing the fuel and oil, and the dry side, containing the cables and electronics safely distance from liquids to prevent issues. It is followed by the combustion section and its integration with the intercase and gearbox. Then, all the connections are made between the combustion chamber, the exhaust area, and the electric systems. Finally, this engine core is inserted into the fan case creating a complete airplane engine.
An important part of this type of engine is the implementation of new technologies and materials to achieve better performance. Developments such as the hollow titanium wide cord fan blades exemplify Rolls-Royce's focus on creating better products. This blade is manufactured at Selatar Aerospace Park in Singapore. Here, the engineers create the part by bonding two thin sheets of titanium, which are then filled with gas to obtain a hollow cross section. Then, with tools such as automatic polishing and robotic limiting process, it is ensured that the part has uniform dimensions and high quality. Only Rolls-Royce produces such unique blades. In fact, Singapore is the only place that produces white cord fan blade outside of Europe. Once the engine has been assembled, Rolls-Royce will test it to ensure it meets the expected performance standards. The company has several test beds next to the assembly facilities, equipped with the necessary tools to record and study all data possible. An example of such a facility is the test bed 80 in Derby, considered one of the largest indoor aero engine testing grounds. With high sampling rate instrumentation and a massive network of sensors, the testbed can measure up to 155,000 pounds of thrust. During such tests, the engines endure simulated flight conditions, endurance, and stress tests. These help the engineers verify the performance of the engine, as well as the efficiency and durability. However, the company not only validates the quality and performance of the whole engine, but for every individual component as well. In sites like the Mechanical Test Operation Center, Rolls-Royce conducts rigorous tests to verify the durability of various engine components. Their wide testing capabilities are thanks to more than 40 machines, which can perform simple tensile tests and complex procedures like crack initiation and propagation. Also, their thermo-mechanical fatigue testing allows them to control load, heating, and cooling rates to be closer to flying conditions making Rolls-Royce one of the leaders in this area. The future of Rolls-Royce and testing in particular is very exciting for us. We've got some new products coming in the near future, which means that we have to have equally new test type. Equally crucial to the assembly or testing processes, Maintenance operations allow the longevity and performance of the components to be maintained. Attention to detail is important in carrying out these tasks, since any tiny detail that is not detected can cause more serious effects in the future. Such an approach is seen during fan blade maintenance procedures, where the surfaces and connections of the components are inspected. For other components, sealing replacements and coating applications ensure the reliability of the engine. These advancements in procedures and technology for developing new and better engines result in a safer and more efficient industry, paving the way for more innovations to improve aerospace engineering. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.